Welcome back, Brick Maniacs. I'm here with Landon. We're going to take a closer look at the minifig of the month for the month of December, which is the World War II Battle of the Bulge German Rifleman. So, obviously it's a white figure, got a sweet helmet. Yes. From from there, let's dive into some actual details. Sure, sure. Uh, Battle of the Bulge. Um, so this is a late war German rifleman. Um, I kept the loadout pretty simple. It's just a standard rifleman, right? Um, and so there's two different rifles that would work with him. Uh, Car 98 or the uh, G43 would also work pretty well. Um, probably more commonly the Car 98. Um, but again, the, so on the artwork, you have the um, ammo pouches to match that rifle. Um, under and, that, and that's underarm printing with those rifle pouches. Um, and then that extends all the way around the back. So overall, he's wearing this um, reversible uh, white uniform here. And there's a gray underside. I opted to have the uh, white uh, version showing, just sure. kind of given the season. Right? Tis the season. Right. Um, there's some cool, there's, there's actually four different variants. And it's a really subtle detail, kind of minor, but I thought I'd point it out. Um, there is a belt. It's a cloth belt underneath of their regular of their uh, ammo belt, um, and there's actually four different variants. The belt is two-sided. One side's white, one side's gray. So it's kind of there's different versions of it depending Sweet. on which one you get. Really minor detail, but I thought I'd point it out. Yeah. Um, again, going back to that white uniform, really kind of got that wrinkles, and there's some dirt spots going on there because these things, being white, they get dirty really quick in the field. Mm -hmm. Uh, especially towards the end of the war, where they're not getting replacements as they should be, and just you know, it's just getting gross and beat the crap, so um, that's kind of showing uh, showing off that. Um, moving down, um, I opted for the, um, just the high boots there, the jack boots, um, and I've got some snow detail. I thought that worked really nicely with the tops of the feet. <laughs> I was just about to say. Right, um, so that's always kind of, it's always a, a struggle with the top of the feet because it's, it's uh, uh, really tough to get printing on there, almost impossible. Um, and so oftentimes that's just, we, it, we, we generally leave it blank, um, but whenever I can work uh, with the top of the boot, I try to. So I'm blending that snow on the top of the toe, the front of the toes there, um, it's blending onto the top of there as well as the side. So it's kind of looking like he's got a lot of snow on top of his, uh, of his boots. He's been tromping through the woods, yep. absolutely. Absolutely. Um, yeah, that snow detail extends all the way around uh, the bottom of the boots and you can see that the uh, white uniform kind of uh, bunching over it. It's a it was a really baggy uniform, so in spots it would put bunch over the boot. Uh, another cool detail, you get a little stick grenade um, tucked into the boot. I'd occasionally see them uh, do that based on photographs. Um, moving back up to the torso, um, another cool detail. Um, I don't know how common it was, but occasionally you'd see it is uh, it's a flashlight. And it's just this square box with the red lens on there. And that would actually button right onto that uniform. Uh, and there was three switches on this, this flashlight where you could slide in and out different color filters mm. um, depending on, um, I guess, what color you'd want to display. So red would be good for, red or green would be good for like a low light situation. Um, and like not wanting to give away your position too much. And then you could have just uh, no filter on there uh, just for a full, um, um, just full flashlight, I guess. Um, a captured pack of Lucky Strikes um, are, is tucked into the uh, into the belt buckle. You'd see that occasionally. Gotta have the good smoke. Yeah, the, especially around this time, there's a lot of, uh, um, they're trying to boost their morale towards the end of the war, and there's lots of uh, propaganda photos, specifically from this battle, um, where they had lots of captured American stuff. Um, so you'd see them smoking cigarettes in these propaganda photos. And, hmm. um, yeah, so I thought that was kind of a, Interesting detail I wanted to include. Uh, and then moving on to the back, um, you have uh, your Zeltbahn rolled up, uh, camouflage, uh, gas mask, canister, and um, the canteen as well. Um, and that's just yeah, a little hood hiding the top of that uh, harness. Um, so that's that's the whole load out there. Um, the head is, has a, the uh, nice uh, gaiter. Um, and then moving on to the helmet, I'll say this is the last, best for last. Um, normally we would have, like initially I was like, oh, I'll just put a white stall helmet on this guy. Um, but as I was looking through photographs, um, while there were some white helmet covers, it seemed like more commonly they would just paint the, their stall helm. Um, and, um, you know, it, it, the paint that they use is a, apparently it's like a chalk-based paint that would wash off in the spring. So it's really crudely applied. 
Um, and it's kind of nice that actually, since it's on that dark gray Brick Arms helmet, uh, you can really see the color showing through. Mm -hmm. And it, it actually does look kind of like a temporary paint on there. Yeah. Then I have a few little dings and rust scratches. You know, it's kind of wet and gross out there. So Late war, too. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so um, that is, um, that's the uh, Battle of the Bulge German Rifleman. Um, again, pick up a, uh, you know, Car 98 or a G43. That would go really great with this figure. Um, yeah. So. Do you have any questions? Excellent. No, I, I, guess you, I think you covered it all. Yeah. Uh, it's a really sharp looking fig. I love how, the way the colors work yep. uh, Work on the white uniform. The helmet looks kick ass per usual and, and, and the gear is awesome. Thank so you. Very, Thank very you. well done. Yeah, so this is again the minifigure of the month. Uh, we will be producing as many as we can this month, up to a thousand copies. And after this month, it uh, we will no longer be producing it and we will sell off the remainder of the copies. So this is kind of your one chance to get this figure. So do not delay. So I speculate, given the season, it's going to sell out. So, No holiday season is complete without your Battle of the Bulge World War II right. German Rifleman. So make sure to pick yours up on BrickMania.com today. <laughs> yeah, thank you <laughs> very much. Thanks for watching. Yeah.